Explain Likim 5 by Tamzu Tasbat. Eli 5. What specifically are virtual particles and negative energy in Hawking radiation? Hi you Tamzu Tasbat. Virtual particles are the source of some of the most pervasive misunderstandings in pop physics. I would argue their conception has done more harm than good. Virtual particles are not real. They are a mathematical bookkeeping device, nothing more. Please don't ascribe any physical meaning to them. Similar things are true about negative energy. Any explanations of Hawking radiation that involve virtual particles and negative energy try to paint a picture that is somewhat intuitive in order to render this effect more accessible. However, neither virtual particles nor negative energy have a whole lot to do with the proper mathematical description of Hawking radiation. Virtual particles are particles that appear to existence and then disappear. They are fluctuations on the quantum field. Since you are talking about Hawking radiation, it is probably about the pair of virtual particles that pop to existence near the black hole event horizon. His explanation is that what usually happens is that a virtual particle and an particle pair pop up, and then annihilate each other, however at the event horizon if this happens, one particle is sucked to the black hole, and the other goes away, effectively making the black hole evaporate over time. That being said, this explanation for Hawking radiation is wrong. This is S. Hawking way of Eli 5 his paper about black holes, because the principle is similar enough. Negative energy is just a negative value for some quantum field. Virtual particles are a small perturbation in the quantum field. You would see a particle as a wave packet in this field. It is possible to use a squid, which in this case is like a tiny mirror that oscillates back and forth at about one stroke three speed of light. When placing the squid in a vacuum it can transfer its kinetic energy to virtual particle and a detectable photon will be born. Using it as an analog to Hawking radiation the black hole creates a condition that imparts some of its mass energy into a photon that zooms away. It is fundamentally a condition that within a quantum field there is no such thing as static zero energy state when there are no particles around. The perturbations in field are constant and they interact with matter and energy. In the case of a black hole it is the result of red shifted light and a slight amplification of that light. How does a wave get amplified? By another wave, of course. It is that amplifying wave that is able to extract some of the black hole mass and impart it into the photon that speeds away, thus Hawking radiation. 